Hello everybody, this is Attila339 and this is another public beta environment game uh, in League of Legends. I'm playing as Xin Zhao. He uh, went through some pretty big changes and uh, actually got bug splatted uh, the last time I wanted to record this, so that's why I'm the last one connecting. So I'm only 15 seconds out, so it's it's not too bad. I'm gonna play Xin Zhao as a jungler. I'm gonna start from blue buff. Uh, or red buff. Nah, I'm probably gonna start from blue buff. It's the safest route. I'm gonna start from blue. So, oh, somehow I turned on colorblind mode. Silly colorblind mode. I'm rocking the wing hussar. Uh, Zinjaskin, I don't. People say that you well, you should you know use uh, skins on PBE because they cost no money. That's true, but you know I don't really like them. But for this occasion, I decided to by the winged hussar, he looks pretty cool. So Zinjao's ability has changed, his passive changed completely, his um, passive component, previous passive component, uh, put to battle cry, and now I'm just gonna get the battle cry up, and it's not the fastest, I guess, why you no do damage. Well this is the PBE, this happens, and she won't be able to pull blue. Pretty cool damage. I don't have a lot of attack speed, I think I got the wrong rune set for this. In any case, uh, yeah, wrong rune set most likely. In any case, uh, the 26 HP for third consecutive hit will heal me a bunch. I had to pop a potion before, so this might not be the best jungle in the world, but in any case, let's grab Q for the extra damage. And let's go to the other camps. Probably gonna have to, well, Muay Thai Lee Sin versus Muay Thai Sin. It's going to be hard to gank. Middle, Zyra is pretty easily gankable unless she gets the snare, which will snare me for some time. And we have a disconnect. And we have an instant reconnect, which is cool, I guess. So, the Zinjao's new passive is challenged. Basically, if you auto attack your target or use the charge ability on him, we got first blooded. That's not very good. And an instant death. So the idea is if you atta auto attack or charge your opponent, you will get this challenge buff on him, which will reduce his armor. Uh, the thing is that you can only target one target, so it basically promotes uh, you being a true bruiser. I'm pr pretty low here, but my passive will heal me up fairly well. I'm gonna get grab the red buff. I'm gonna get grab uh, the the buff, and probably gonna try to gank on my way and if my gank is successful I should be able to kill this no problem and let's go 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 I charge and the last hit and there goes the kill fairly easy pickup uh, Xin Zhao is such an amazing jungler and um, now since he has the the skills change he is going to be even more effective. He's probably not going to be uh, not going to fall out in the end game as much as he did previously. S um, haven't really played Zin Zhao all that much. I played him once before, I think. I kind of liked his uh, skill set, but I just picked up some other champions, and well, I liked them a bit more. Um, Tristana seems to have problems with her internet connection. She's just AFK, so I'll have to uh, gank bottom lane real soon. Uh, have to s use smite here. Um, his ultimate, um, if his ultimate really works really interestingly with the uh, passive, basically it knocks back everyone except the challenge target. So basically, you can knock everyone from. And what is he doing? He just popped ghost for no reason. In any case, this should be one and two kills. There goes the and there goes another one. This should be a perma slow. And there should be a slaughter, as Jack said. And there goes the third kill. Very very easy. Uh, even with the AFK Tristana, we should be able to do some decent damage. I should back out and get my Riggles Lantern 
or should I? I probably need to get Berserker Greaves. That will dramatically increase my um, jungle speed. My runes are completely off uh, for Zinjao. You should pick up attack speed, either full attack speed or attack speed reds and flat AD quintessences, because um, his attack speed is pretty lacking in the early game. And we have this just we have insane internet problems with the Justana. She has absolutely no way how to play properly. That's understandable. This is the PBE. People do have lags. Um, Riot said that, you know, if you have lags, don't worry. It's the PBE server. So, yeah, Zinjao sustain is pretty well in the jungle. He's probably not the fastest jungler. No, he's by far not the fastest jungler. Uh, he, with, in jungle speed, he's probably somewhere there with Shen and um, uh, maybe Twitch. But... I think that he's going to be a good jungler because I'm going to try to gank her. Uh, go, 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 go. And, oh, no. Just three ho And she chaos the kill. But, who cares? Uh, that was a gank. In any case, I get my ultimate and my team is starting to rage. So I'm just going to pick up these two kills. Uh, Galia is probably going to ward right here. And I'm going to smack him apart. And, yep, I will. And there goes the smack. And we're gonna do some insane damage right here. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? And the answer, short answer, yes, it will be enough. Uh, so I'm currently insanely fed. And I'm just having a ton of fun. Uh, by any case, I'm not a very good Xin Zhao player. You shouldn't copy what I do. I just gank a lot and abuse their mistakes. But holy smack, his sustain, if you max W first, is absolutely insane. If you get some attack speed on him, his W is absolutely amazing. And um, I really like the changes that they did to Xin Zhao. Uh, the, Evelyn, the official Evelyn Champion Spotlight is already out, so you could watch that. Uh, we see Evelyn trying to gank uh, Katarina right there. Um, Evelyn also went through a complete overhaul. Every single skill has been altered or changed in some way. It's pretty cool. And um, nice to see one of the oldest and greatest champions of all time, you know, getting back into the game. Because, well, she was dumbed down to being a simple troll champion. After the last change, where they changed the fact that she just slows very heavily instead of stuns. What is this? Hello? Hello? Hello. I, she can't stealth because I'm right behind her. So that's the new Evelyn for you. I will be able to pick up the skill after I get my audacious charge, and there goes my audacious charge. I shall pick up her blue buff because I didn't see her wearing the blue buff. I'm gonna pick it up. Never gonna give you up, Rickastly. Don't sue me, please. So we're just gonna do a lot of damage to this blue buff. We're gonna smite it, and we're gonna pick up two. Probably gonna max E because it decreases the cooldown. Uh, but you should probably max Q for the more damage because. But Q is an attack auto attack resetter. So this is like the Shivana treatment. Like uh, people are torn if you should max E or Q after W for jungle Shivana. Why did you run away? We could easily kill her. Oh wow. Whoa, 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 bro. I completely forgot about my Q. That was my bad that she died. She shouldn't have died. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the knockout. I'm dead. But the knockout, wow. I mean, the knockout was insane. Wow. I didn't expect... It's like a Tristana ultimate, but it's AoE. I'm impressed. In any case, so we're doing fairly well. Not the best, but fairly well. I'm probably going to go for uh, either Phage or Zeal. I'll go for Zeal. And then, then I'm going to go Phage. The reason behind this is because I want to be super, super roamy. I have 413 movement speed. And I'm just going to be a big, big threat for the entire enemy team. Even though we have a Tristana, which basically went AFK. I think we're capable of winning this game. Uh, unless the enemy wants to drag this out. In that case, we might run into some trouble. I should go and pick up Dragon after this blue buff. I gave blue buff to Zyra, but she died, so no problem there. Let's knock this blue buff around. And the W attack speed buff is just like 
Wow. It's absolutely insane. Trinity Force, I believe, on Zinjao should be a pretty good buff. Because... Not buff, item. Because his attack speed is so cool, and he can spam those spells because his mana cost is really low. But Twitch just went, uh, Twitch just went stealth mode, so... It's not going to be really helpful. I'm just going to pick up this dragon. It's no problem. The attack speed from W is so major. Hello. You cannot beat me. Not even with a dragon can you beat me. <laughs> Amazing laughter. Evil laughter and we get two kills. I had the uh, the entirety of the time I had the dragon on me, so that's why I died so fast. But I would have completely dominated them otherwise. That was kind of my bad. But I transferred the blue buff to Katarina, so that's not the bad, not the worst thing that could have happened. Uh, yeah, my next time is gonna be Phage, and I'm gonna go for the Trinity Force. After this, I'm gonna do the, probably gonna go for some defensive item because. I'm snowballing so hard, and I need to carry this team super, super hard. Uh, if you remember my last video, if you watched my last video, uh, where I did a preview on Zyra, we remember that the enemy team was uh, at a disadvantage because the their Anivia went AFK from the very beginning of the game, so Tristana was basically in the same position, but she went AFK willingly because she lagged and she didn't want to ruin the game for us, which is not the worst thing in, in the world. If she would have fed uh, more than two kills, that could have been a pretty difficult situation for us to deal with. And wow, that, that was a nice juke by Katarina. Uh, really, really, you know, people are starting to get the hang of Zyra's ability skill set. And I'm just going to get this buff. I can deal with Dragon. So I'm going to take out Dragon and basically going to try everything. Um... Let's go, I'm gonna have to get some abilities here, and I solo dragon. Just like that, no problem. Gonna get this um, Galio. Uh, he's an easy target. I really like the mana costs of... Oh, yay, no. No. But Galio cannot escape, he's dead. Oh, no. That was a failure ultimate. You should initiate with your ultimate, uh, but I keep forgetting that. In any case, uh, Zinjao seems pretty strong. I'm gonna, uh, let's see, bonus damage. I'm just gonna max one point at each, level by level. Both skills are pretty useful. And I'm just gonna get these wolves here. The crit animation is so awesome on Zinjao. Basically, like, so, so powerful. And I should gank more, actually. Even though I have 8 kills and our team is doing fairly well, I should gank even more, uh, extend the lead because we are 4v5. Wow, uh, so many procs. I'm gonna gank um, Zyra. Oh, <laughs> nice. Didn't expect that. And we can. What is she gonna shoot at me? Come at me, bro. She didn't shoot out her spell. They died. Let's get the, let's get some minions here. Uh, some people think that Xin Zhao was kind of nerfed because his cooldown reduction component on his W was removed. Um, sure, it was a very big gameplay change to Xin Zhao, but I think that his skills, his new skill set, uh, more than compensates for the loss of some cooldown reduction. I mean, he can still spam those spells, he's an amazing jungler, and he's going to be so much more uh, potent in what he does uh, in the current metagame and in the uh, in any metagame in general. Um, Xin Zhao is a very, very good pick, a very, very solid pick. We have three people here. Um, I think I saw Evelyn there. So I'll just going to gank the uh, not gank <laughs> gank a choke point. That's pretty much just impossible to gank a choke point. I'm gonna ward there and I'm gonna try to take down this tower along with my team. We should press our advantage as far as we can, and that's just amazing damage and insta gib on that Galio. Galio has no armor, and once I auto attack and audacious charge him, he gets that his pathetic little amount of armor reduced even further. So I'm just going to take down this. Uh, Zyra might take out our mid tower, but that's not bad. 
Uh, I don't think she's going to be able to. Or is she? She's going to help out Shen. Hello. Ah, that was my bad. Oh well. Forces flash. I'm going to see how much... Oh, I can already buy extremely force right off the bat. I'm just going to get some minions and... Um, the biggest mistake I'm doing currently is not keeping track of the buff timers. Oh, cool. That was lucky. Uh, I should keep track of these buff timers because they're so, so, so very important. Uh, if I can uh, snowball out of control and basically I am do what I'm doing right now and I could cr completely dominate the enemy team, they might surrender uh, before the 20 minute mark, not realizing that they could potentially win the game if they stall the game long enough. Shen just wants those last hits. I'm going to be out and going to grab my Trinity Force. Um, I'm just buying what I think might work. This is by far not the optimal build. But in any case, I hope that uh, this could give you some insight on how to build Zinjao when it uh, comes out on live server. So our team is doing fairly well. Our Lee Sin is pretty much screwed. He was d almost... yeah. He was ganged by two people, and he still managed to kill the enemy, listen, which is pretty good. Our dragon should be up soon. Let's see. Why don't I slay the dragon? I slayed the dragon some... Two more minutes. Less than two minutes, so... Meh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a pretty big um, point right there, because I didn't really gank top lane once, I think, this entire game. I was ganking bottom lane and mid lane. I allowed uh, Katarina to snowball out of control and allowed Shen to live long enough. So, gonna grab this stuff and I think we're in a pretty good shape. Oh, Alan took. I should really get my uh, oracles right here, I think. Oracles would be super, super effective. Hi, Lo. You can't escape. Die. That's some serious damage from that Trinity Force. And the Wriggles. Yay, I see where you went. Oh, she can't escape. Can she? No, she can't. Oh, yay! Oh, no! The Lee Sin! Damn you! Ah. What? Okay. Yay! What the hell was that flash? I have no idea, but we picked up the kill. I know, I know. I'm just trying to tank the tower to like a boss to see if I can do that. So we're in pretty good shape right here. We have like 13 kills up. We have we're gonna slay the dragon right now. It's gonna spawn momentarily in. Oh, I can't see. In a couple of seconds. Yeah, right here. That was a lot of damage. Holy, mo holy moly! So Riggles is an amazing item on Zinjao. It just makes him such a potent threat, and those crits are amazing. So I wonder what can the enemy team do to stop our train of doom? Probably nothing. Um, I'm pretty much snowballed out of control. They can't control me, and they have a massive level disadvantage. Because, well, one, we have a 1 DC, and two, we're just completely destroying them. Galio's 07? Indeed, 076. Not the worst case scenario. He did get some assists. Um, Twitch, six kills. Twitch has six kills. Hello. Be a man. Slay the enemy. So we're gonna probably push this lane now because. It's unguarded. So let's see. Our Lee Sin will help us. So this is going to be a 4 run 4 scenario if they're going to attack us. They're going to lose almost 100% because, well, we're just snowballing very heavily. Me and Katarina and actually Lee Sin as well are doing just insane amounts of damage. And Shen, oh, and actually this is an instant surrender. So hopefully you enjoyed this um, mini preview on Xin Zhao. Uh, not a lot of changes, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like these kinds of videos, um, you can subscribe to my channel. 
and uh, I'll get I'll bring some content out as soon as I can. So this was Attila 339 and I'll see you guys on my other videos. Have a great day.